We now have our culvert submerged below the ground and we're ready to run to flow. So we'll move back up to our design menu, down to to flow, and select road flow. The road flow panels come mostly filled out because previously we had set the defaults. What we need to add on is our drainage model. So I'll go C for culvert and then control D. And then our gutter model, which is the one we created up there. If I do a TF space Z and then control D, I can pick my Z line gully. So with the data in ready to go, we'll select the run button. The updated data will be written out and launch the two flow program. The only difference between this launch and our previous one is that it will now have that two-flow gully line in order to get the water to flow out of the culvert.